How do interviews evolve from fresher roles and to senior roles? Like, what's the difference? So I'll 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 tell you a, like a story of mine, right? So in my first career fair at TI, right, uh, when I went there for my internship, they ask you very basic questions, right? They ask you, okay, so they'll give you like a set of op amp, like inverting, mm-hmm. non-inverting, summing, differential. Then right, it moves right. on to like more challenging, like active filters, right? And they just want you to like do some kind of like, you know, if you understand like the basic of op amp or not, right? Did mm-hmm. I have the transfer function? How are you doing it? Is there any approximation you are making? Then comes your diode circuits, you know, diode as rectifier or some like diode uh, in, uh, like a series with resistor or whatever, like they mix it up and stuff. And then comes your capacitor, charge sharing. That's a very important thing. Basically, there right, are a lot right, of right. groups that work with switch capacitor circuits. Yeah. And I was asked these same big- questions. Yeah, and that's somewhat my weak point was, especially like because I had to like see and then I would like always try to do like, okay, charge conservation. So I had no intuition because I knew, okay, I'll just yeah. charge conservation. The same happened with me during my internship interview. So they asked so, this, like you transfer charge from one capacitor to mm-hmm. another. And in my head, I was, you know, writing those equations and seeing like you have to conserve the charge, you have to transfer yeah. it. So. Yeah, and there are, I think there's a channel in YouTube called Analog Snippets, uh, which is yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. Uh, yeah, so uh, like I see most of those interview stuff from there. And in interviews also, as you go senior, right, people expect you to actually have those intuitions, right? Mm-hmm. Like if like there's capacitors with some initial voltage and they're connected together, the initial voltage doesn't matter. That's what like, you know, ultimately when you derive. So all this knowledge, if you have, right, the interviews will be more impressed that, okay, he has this knowledge. Or suppose there is like a normal output impedance circuit and suddenly someone connects a resistor. So the voltage is going to drop, right? So they expect you to understand why it is happening, where the current division is happening, they are becoming mm-hmm. in parallel, you know? So all those stuff, you can't just sit and try to do math. They get very annoyed. They want you to first think to the circuit. Mm-hmm. I've seen people, when they get a circuit, oh, I'll just take pen and paper and, you know, write. Mm-hmm. No, think to the circuit what's happening, right? If there is a resistor in parallel, that means the current is getting split up. So try to derive using those right instead of just trying to like oh let me like do i equal to right. three, like this and because that. it's like any fresher who has graduated he can do kcl kvl and solve those uh, circuits yeah yeah so they are looking for like more intuitive understanding and also like what all you have done right like uh, in the sense okay they will ask you from an internship what you have done what you have learned they'll ask you from your current job profile they will also ask you like okay fine um, how much knowledge of even the simulator you have, like they'll give you maybe like some kind of condition, like, okay, how can you like, you know, uh, if design this circuit and what all parameters would you expect to do? Suppose you're doing a comparator, what are the important parameters that you look in a comparator, right? If there's a large signal event, is the comp- uh, is the op amp fluid first or it's going in a small signal state? Mm-hmm. So all those things are very important. And those yeah. comes with even noise. I think noise is one of the things where people struggle the most because mm. they don't actually understand how noise, like, you know, it's current noise from each device. You have to understand that. It's not like, so they try to like learn the equations. Okay, it could refer noise. I'll just divide by the gain and I'll write some expression. Mm. And it's not like that. It's very easy to understand. Like even offset, current mirror and stuff like that. Mm. What matters? It's the length that matters. So all these things, you know, you have to like know it by heart kind of. Mm, so yeah, and it comes with experience. So they're going to ask yeah. you more about yeah your experience there. So the interview process does not change a lot. And it's pretty rigorous here. I'll tell you, it's pretty rigorous here. Like I had to give one presentation to the entire team. I had two about phone your calls previous work. Sorry? The presentation was about your previous work. Yeah, presentation about your previous work. So that's the most tricky part because you have to select a circuit that you like the most and present it to them. And some expert will be sitting there and he's going to point out why have you done it this way and not the other way. Uh-huh. So it's yeah. very hard convincing them. Yeah, yeah. Like in and design reviews, <laughs> it's like... Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly, exactly. It's just like a design review. You're presenting your designs, whatever you have done. It has to be proper. You have to write down all the equations, what all considerations you have done, right? And then you're presenting right. it to them. And they ask very, like, very deep, insightful questions regarding mm-hmm. what you have presented and then okay. comes a part so if there are like six d- designers who are interviewing you three will be probably asking you on like basic circuits and three will be asking you about your education like you know what have you actually learned in your job you know and okay. got it some special circuit that you like they'll ask you to draw it and do like full mathematical analysis 
and you have to do like everything like from input common range to slew rate whatever be it if it's ADC then the resolution of the ADC what speed aliasing or anti aliasing why have you chosen that ADC with that speed so you also have to know about the application right right, the, right. yeah so I think that's a bit difficult when you are going higher and higher because you have to justify what value you bring to the company right hmm. because okay. frankly speaking if you go if you work in a team right like later on I think if, when you go higher up you'll understand that analog design is not just about designing most of the talent analog 